Jashodaya and I am teach about your kindness and the metta meditation. Because metta meditation means kindness and kindness means metta meditation. So I will teach you about kindness but don't be confused about metta meditation. Because metta meditation means kindness. Kindness means well I am first going to tell you about metta and then kindness. Got it? Metta. Developing metta, you develop loving kindness. Your mind becomes soft. Your mind becomes very bright. By practicing metta meditation, you extend friendship. Also, it's an endless friendship. It's a very beautiful friendship. You are friendly with man. You are friendly with nature. You are friendly with animals. You are even friendly with trees and creepers. Rays of your mind becomes peace making, become making your face be radiant with a lot of love. You heal the wounded world. You heal the wounded minds of people. So we should always practice metta. That is also meaning we should always respect our parents. And even gods will bless you. It's a huge blessing. It's a huge, huge blessing. You are looking at my video with a life. But your life becomes more better when you are kind. And your life becomes more worse when you are bad. So, metta meditation is the e No, I mean kindness is the easy way to learn metta meditation. But uh, what is easier to you, you can do. It's up to you. It's very easy to choose. But the easy one from there is kindness. Developing metta, you develop a lot of kindness and your and uh, people's wounded hearts become fixed hearts. You should always love each other and never tell bad things. Even to a teacher, even to anybody in the world. So, my name is Yashoday from Sri Lanka. The sacred land of the Buddha. Thank you. It's, um, have a good day. Practice metta as a daily practice. It's always good that way. Goodbye.